the biggest challenge esports players have to overcome is the pressure that they're exposed to year by year. This is the true test. Who really is the strongest region in the world? It's a lot of job insecurity. The pressure that is around the whole industry for them to perform without having tools and resources to deal with it. My name is Ismael Pedraza. I am the performance coach for G2 Esports. So I am very driven by performance, so that's why I wanted to help others to achieve their sporting competitive dreams and careers. Esports players require more focus at the cognitive level and psychological level. Struggles, challenges are part of our development and they were there because of a reason. I am from Colombia, from Bogota. I live in Berlin for the last 10 years. I specialize in sports psychology in particular. My mission in esports is to facilitate players and coaches with strategies that help them to create a constant development. So the creation of habits, understanding how to improve outside of the game, then it will be translated into understanding how to improve in the game. But then as well at the day-to-day -day basis in terms of exercise, nutrition, and relationships and the cultural aspect, and this is more at the individual level, help the players and the teams to understand and develop the specific culture that we want to implement to, to succeed as a team. My day starts with making sure that the players are starting the day with high energy, push them to have a little bit uh, of a schedule in their waking up times. So we have implemented the habit to have a exercise every single day at a specific time. It depends on the day, we usually will have a short session on values. Uh, we have developed specific values for us that we believe will help us to guide our actions to achieve what we want to achieve. So, And then for me, it will be just purpose. We will talk about self-talk. So there will be specific topics to add a bit more into their knowledge about psychology, but then as well about other topics like sleep, exercise, nutrition. So it goes around uh, this direction of education and development. That's such a hard question. Um, I believe that everything that I've been through I had to happen. Um, so I'm a believer that struggles, challenges are part of our development and they were there because of a reason. So I wouldn't have any regrets or I wouldn't have any things that I wish I knew specifically. But I think something around the idea that trusting more my guts, and my intuition will be something that I think it would have been beneficial in specific moments. This is part of the process that we all engage uh, through our lives. My approach with the team when they lose a game depends on the strategies and depends on the approach that we've been engaging throughout the season. So we're encouraging a lot to understanding why we win, why we lose, but especially to understanding that there will be adversities, there will be challenges, and we have to experience them again, but then we have to be ready for them. So when we lose a game, I immediately will observe how the players are engaging with the loss most of the time, they are very frustrated. They are very angry at, at themselves, especially individually. For me, it's always good to first help them to reflect and see different perspectives of the loss, not necessarily for them to tell me about why we lose specifically in the game, because that's very clear for them, but it's to bring their view a little bit wider and look into different perspectives, whether we can take anything positive from it. Very often, mistakes or losses could be an opportunity and a possibility to do things better. Probably the right time to do it since we are very open-minded at different levels of performance. Performance coaching and in general is, is, is growing a lot in organizations and G2 Esports is at the forefront of this and understanding that it will take a great deal of effort and great attitude and mindset towards taking the right steps towards be in the position that you might want to be is very important. Sometimes you might have to start from, from internship positions and then you start getting the experience on how the real world is. So obviously it's very exciting to, to even think about it, I believe. 
this process is evolving in the right direction in terms of how we are supporting our players, coaches and members who are around us. For example, at G2 Esports, we are engaging into mental health programs as well. And I think this is very relevant for everyone in, in, in the industry. So this gives me high hopes of the industry evolving in the right direction. And I think I see my future into continuing helping uh, and developing players and coaches, but then potentially a bit more on helping other performance coaches, managing other performance coaches to get the experience that I've been getting, and then to integrate disciplinary approach of bringing different experts from different fields as how it is done in sports, but in a more structured manner. So if most of the organizations get to do this approach, so we will just take in even further the sports industry.